my kitchen. So today I will be showing y'all how I do my room. So um, before we get into today's recipe, I really do want to thank everyone for being part of my cooking channel. Your support means the world to me and I hope you enjoy trying out my recipes and leaving comments and just following along. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any of my videos. And so with that being said, let's grab our ingredients and let's get our aprons and let's make a roux. So for our roux, we are going to need two ingredients, oil and flour. So a roux is a very simple thing to make. Generally it's equal parts flour and oil. Now if you need a roux for something like say a sauce, you can substitute butter for the oil, but it needs to be an equal part. So if you have one cup of oil, one cup of flour, one cup of butter, one cup of flour. So there are a few things. First is the heat. You do not want to start off high because what will happen is you will burn your root. You generally want to start on a medium heat and then work it slow. The key thing about a root is patience. Do not rush it. So what you need to do or need when making a root is a good heavy pot. You can use a Dutch oven, iron cast iron skillet, but I'm going to use my trusty Magnolite. So then you're going to need two things. A whisk for mixing the oil with the flour or the flour with the oil and then a wooden spatula for stirring. Like I said, once again, Rue is all about patience. You don't rush it, otherwise you will burn it. So let me get my oil, and then we're gonna start making a roux. So I've added my oil to my um, Magnolite, and I've got two cups of oil here. And so we're gonna heat this up over a medium heat. And like I said, we don't wanna crank it up to get the oil super hot and then turn it down because then you're going to end up burning your flour. So while this is heating up, we are going to be going through four color stages of making a roux. Um, as you can see from the color guide that I've got, we're going to go from a white to a blonde to a brown and then to a dark roux. So once this is heated up, and we're ready to add our flour, we'll be right back. Okay, so our oil is nice and hot. Like I said, we did not jack this up to high and bring it down. We started off at a medium heat. So we're gonna add in our flour. And like I said, I use a whisk to get my flour into my oil. Some people will use a spoon, a wooden spatula, but I like to use a whisk because it makes it a lot simpler and quicker. And I'm mixing in roughly two cups of flour with my oil. Now, you need to remember, um, it's easy to add flour to your oil, but you can't remove it. So if you end up putting in too much flour, then you're going to just have to start over. So, now we're going to just sit here and continue whisking this up. And now that it's completely incorporated into our oil, we're going to just move over to our spatula. And we're going to let this go. Now the times on the chart will vary depending on your stove. Okay, so we are at roughly three minutes, and as you can see, we've hit the, the white roux stage, and so now we're going to move on to the blonde. Alright, so we've hit the blonde roux stage, which is about ten minutes after we hit the white, so now we're going to move on and get to our brown stage. 
right, so we are at our brown stage, and you'll also notice that the smell of your roux, um, you'll get like a toasted smell during the stages, and at this point, it's gonna not going to take long to get over to the dark roux, so if you need to adjust your heat down some, which I've already done, and we're going to just keep on stirring. Alright, as you can see, we've hit the dark brown roux stage. So, at this point, you can stop. Now, if you want to go a bit darker, tread with care, because if you go too far past this stage, you will burn this roux and have to completely start over. So, if you were making a gumbo, at this point, you would start adding in your ingredients. But being I am not going to be using this for a gumbo today, I'm going to turn off my heat and completely remove it so it can cool down. And I am going to store this in a plastic container in my refrigerator. And that way, whenever I'm ready to make a gumbo, I have my root. So that is how I make my roux. And like I had mentioned, roux is a labor of love, and the one thing you will learn from that is patience. You do not rush it, you take your time, and the 30, 45 minutes to an hour that it will take you to get the roux where you want, it is justified. So it's very simple. Not something very hard to do. So, and so I hope everyone that needs any help making a roux, this video helps you. And let me know how it turns out if you do use this video for making a roux. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the recipe. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, like, and that notification bell. So that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming recipes. And as always, enjoy cooking in the kitchen.